my heart will go on. But this song may not, cause Celine Dion is pissed that Donald Trump used her Titanic anthem at a recent rally in Montana. She and her management company were quick to point out that they do not authorize it, they don't endorse this, and then at the end of their statement they wrote, and really, that song? <laughs> so, who's, who, who's hitting the iceberg here? <laughs> Although, maybe he's telegraphing king of the world. Or maybe he's telling J.D. Vance there's no room on the door for you, buddy. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls, Donald. But you may be onto something with the king thing because... They did do a clip from The Lion King as well. Oh, like Nasafenia? Definitely not the name of the song. But hold on, if Trump thinks he's king, he's now facing the queen of power ballads. I would not want Celine Dion as an enemy. Would he dare do a Taylor Swift song? Uh, I could totally see him trolling and doing that. And Taylor nor Celine would really have a case because... You can't stop him from using the songs as long as he has an ASCAP license to play it. I like that they put that song and I was trying to think of what other Celine Dion song would be more appropriate. Oh, it's all coming back to me. I love that song. Oh. That, that would have been Biden's song. <laughs> Except it's not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming back to me now. <laughs> so, thanks, Celine. You've taught us a valuable lesson here. I don't want to get old. We were going to say stand up for what you believe in, but sure, getting old doesn't seem that fun either. Now, let us know where your heart's going to go, Queen Celine. My heart will go on.